I've been working with uh, leaders in business, in government, in civil society organizations, uh, and in international organizations for many years. But uh, never have I had uh, a series of interactions where, as I did over the past few months, where I almost feel like being part of two different realities. Uh, on the one hand, when you talk to uh, leaders and decision makers one on one, there is a very clear awareness that uh, profound change is afoot, that transformational change is necessary, and that our old way of operating, of running the economy, of running the various other institutions, is really hitting the wall, is heading towards collapse. But then, when you look at the collective behaviors that we have, the way we do run our economy, the way we do uh, make investments and so on and so forth, there is still pretty much uh, more of the same. Maybe marginal change, no profound change. That knowing-doing gap is really the crux, is really kind of the, the challenge, I think, of our time. Even though everyone is aware of that transformational change, personally, organizationally, and also, yes, we as a society, is necessary, there's very little awareness and capacity on the how-to, right? Most people would be honest and say, I don't know how. And there is very little capacity to really build the enabling infrastructure that would allow us to go through transformational change, not only in an outer sense, kind of changing structures and so on, not only kind of coming up with new processes, but really also on the level of consciousness, on the level of mindset shift, on the level of moving from an ecosystem awareness to an ecosystem awareness, from an awareness that looks at reality from a silo view to one that's kind of more based on the whole system or ecosystem. And how do we do that together? How do we do that as a team? How do we do that as a larger system? So these deeper enabling infrastructures that would support such a transformational um, uh, leadership and systems journey are very little developed. And that's why we have ULAP. So it's about practices, but it's also about practice fields where you can train these new behaviors in the context of uh, fellow travelers and colleagues and you know, fellow change makers that uh, are in, this, in the same or, or similar situation, but in a different system, in a different geography. So ULAP is really an infrastructure that's free, that's open, that's accessible to all, and that's part of the new global commons that we need to build that really help us as a global society to develop these enabling infrastructures for transformation and that use personal transformation as a gateway to systems transformation.